Hey everybody, this is the chassis of a 2022 Toyota Tundra. Uh, you can see that this one is the iForce Max. We'll take a closer look at that in just a second. Um, but up front you can see uh, just how much cooling um, this vehicle has uh, behind that big grill. Um, you can see the uh, um, items that are marked in orange are unique to the hybrid powertrain. Um, so let's take a look around at the side here. Um, and you'll see, uh, you know, a lot of this engine is uh, uh, cut away, so you can see the, uh, the detailing in it. Um, here you can see the uh, control module and a lot of the wiring that goes um, to the uh, hybrid system. Um, this orange unit here, in between the engine block and the transmission, this is the actual electric motor. Uh, there's a clutch in front of it uh, to couple or decouple from the uh, engine. Um, but then it uh, goes straight into the transmission. Uh, interestingly, it does share fluid in between them. The uh, transmission fluid um, actually does cool the electric motor as well. Um, again, take a look at the uh, wiring. Um, you'll see that it goes back this way uh, and leads to this big orange box. That is the nickel metal hydride battery that sits underneath the uh, rear seat of iForce Max Tundras. Um, it is nickel metal hydride, uh, not lithium ion, um, which is uh, a more energy dense uh, system, but uh, Toyota assures us that uh, uh, the nickel metal hydride works perfectly fine in this application, um, and we're sure that, that it does. Uh, it is air cooled, not liquid cooled. Um, it sucks in air on either side um, from uh, uh, little vents underneath the seat and exhausts out the back. We'll go ahead and walk around this way a little bit. You can see this particular model um, has the uh, air load leveling, air suspension, air shocks, air springs. Um, I'm pointing at it there underneath that uh, yellow cover. That's where the uh, uh, air intake um, attaches. Go around to the back. And get better look at the new coil spring rear suspension. Of course, this one's not coils because it's got the... Uh, uh, the air springs, but uh, that's where the coils would uh, otherwise be, replacing uh, the leaf springs of the old model. Um, and you can see this one has the optional large 32-gallon fuel tank. All right. Well, thanks for watching.